anti-Assad worries. McClatchy News Service, one of the most respected out there. You got Rand Paul bringing it out. The whole Syria war stopped uh, with Western backing because we exposed this, and it's such a huge deal. Here's another article by Kurt Nemo. More evidence U.S. funds al-Qaeda terrorists in Syria. Excellent video. They staged a false flag launching chemical attacks against Assad and then blamed him. And even Cy Hirsch came out and said it was staged by Saudi Arabia, Turkey, and others. And even the BBC admitted that Russia intercepted phone calls with top generals and the foreign ministers of Turkey literally talking about staging false flags. So we've gone from 12, 13 years ago with 9-11 with no one knowing about false flag staged events to it now being a household word. And that's a big deal because that means if they stage stuff in the future, we know what to look for. The week before they roll out the naked body scanners, there's the underwear bomber flying in from Amsterdam to Michigan. We had witnesses on the plane who said it was staged. He was drugged. Turned out that was true. CIA got him on the plane. That's why being aware of false flag is so important because what does G.I. Joe say? Knowing's half the battle. Now here's another article from last week. Shaney, another 9-11 coming but far deadlier and he went on to say, if you continue to distract them by questioning what they did in Iraq or if you even question what Obama is doing that you're causing a problem. Just do what they say or Al-Qaeda will kill you. When our own government at Benghazi gave them Stinger missiles, MPADs, anti-aircraft missiles. We've got Dianne Feinstein saying, give up all your rights or the terrorists are gonna kill you. We've got police all over the US saying, you can't film anything or film them because you might be a terrorist in the post 9-11 world. This is a blank check for power grabbing. This is why they staged it. And now they say Homeland Security is for the Tea Party and gun owners and veterans, not for their darling sweetie pie, Al-Qaeda, who's been rebranded with ISIS flags. And they're so arrogant, the flags say they're Wahhabist. They say they're with bin Laden. But our media won't even tell you that. I even saw Candy... Crowley actually tried to say that if we'd have taken down Assad, this wouldn't be happening in an interview with Rand Paul. This is the group the globalists funded to bring down Assad. If they would have taken down Assad, they would have had all his high tech weapons. But she sits up there and says, take out Assad, knowing people don't know that Assad is fighting these people. I saw CNN say that Al Qaeda is with ISIS last week. That's the opposite group. They're killing each other. That's how dumb they think you are, ladies and gentlemen. So you can make fun of Charlie Sheen all day with all the women and partying. What are you doing for freedom? It's like the prodigal son. Yeah, he's got problems, but at least he's got guts. And to quote the sergeant from Full Metal Jacket, yeah, Private Joker's silly and he's ignorant. He's got guts and guts is enough. So you're fired, Private Snowball, and you're hired, Private Joker. That's what it's all about, ladies and gentlemen. Mainstream journalists exposed 9-11 as a hoax. Excellent article by Dr. Kevin Barrett. Nearly 90% of Germans, people are waking up, do not believe official 9-11 fairy tale. Well, that's because Andres von Bülow, amongst other people, went public on my show and wrote the best-selling book in Germany, CIA Stage 9-11. And he was the former head of their CIA and worked heavily with our entire intelligence operation. He looked at it within months and said, inside job. Uh, there's, of course, this clip, man takes over Super Bowl with 9-11 was an inside job last year. Great example uh, of how people are culture jamming and getting the truth out. We'll play that clip right now. I always imagine myself making great plays, but you never think about being MVP. Investigate 9-11. 9-11 was perpetrated by people within our own government. All right. Is everybody all right? His, his, check his press pass. 9-11 families are continuing to question the official narrative. Just like we were lied to about the dust not being deadly. And it turned out that was a premeditated lie. 9-11 families are angry that they have to pay $24 to even enter uh, the $700 uh, you know, million dollar museum. Uh, again, this just shows how cold-blooded they are. They called the cops and firefighters that were dying from the deadly dust, ambulance chasers in the New York Post. 
They just want to use that memorial as a propaganda piece for the police state, implying it keeps us safe. No, controlling our borders that are wide open keeps us safe. No, not funding Saudi Arabian terror groups to take over the world keeps us safe. Not creating Al-Qaeda like Zbigniew Brzezinski and Jimmy Carter did, and Reagan continued funding, his people did, keeps us safe. The globalists need Al-Qaeda to take over the world, to be their secret army, and to menace us in to giving up our basic liberties. And activists are fighting back everywhere, not just taking over the Super Bowl. Activists spoof 9-11 memorial brochures with ones containing actual facts and handing those out at ground zero. The system cannot stand against you if you take action, if you begin to speak out, if you demand the truth, and if you don't buy into their lies and fraud. All right, that's it for this uh, archive retransmission of 20 minutes with the president and charlie sheen we only scratched the surface she'll continue to investigate and educate the public about false flags yourself because you are the answers you are the solution and if you're watching or listening to this transmission you are the resistance the human body is extraordinary. Despite all the stresses we inflict upon it, it still works hard to stay in balance. Thousands upon thousands of people rely upon heart and body extract to help their body stay balanced. This excellent 100% natural herbal formula helps maintain healthy blood pressure levels, cleans arteries, promotes good circulation, balances cholesterol, and more. HB extract paired with healthy lifestyle choices like good nutrition and exercise can give you a life free of pain, sickness, and fear. Recapture your youthful vitality and experience your body healing itself with the aid of hb extract it's extremely effective and it starts working in just days visit hbextract.com to learn more and to read scores of testimonials from satisfied customers and we've never increased our price in over 10 years that makes heart and body extract as great a value now as it was the first day we sold it a healthy heart is a happy heart call 866-295-5305 or go to hbextract.com Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. Listen up, all you preppers and survival enthusiasts. Sigma 3 Survival School has a brand new survival instructor training program that will teach you everything you need to know about survival and then license you to teach our survival programs so you can make a substantial profit from it. If you have always wanted to learn to be completely self-reliant and would like to make money at it, then check out Sigma 3 Survival School Survival Instructor Program at survivalschool.us or call 479-561-3886 today. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? They've been available since 1986, yet the financial industry won't recognize the value of gold for your retirement. Gold has outperformed paper investments, yet no word about IRAs. If you would like to have gold for your retirement, call 800-686-2237. Don't get left behind by rising inflation and low returns. Call 800-686-2237. Secure your future and call 1-800-686-2237. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight, your host. And as you heard in that last segment, that special report that just aired for the first time from Alex Jones, you heard, you heard Charlie Sheen saying, we want our country back. What's happened to our country? Well, in the wake of the phony 9-11 false flag attack, we got Homeland Security. We got the Patriot Act. 
we got the rules of the game of the NSA fundamentally changed. And in response to that, we had several NSA whistleblowers. Many of them had worked for decades for the NSA. We had William Binney, one of the first whistleblowers, had worked for them for over 30 years. He was technical head with global responsibility of, uh, at the NSA. And he was one of the first whistleblowers. He has said that we are this close to a police state holding his fingers together. That was about a year ago. About six months ago, he said, we have a police state. And he's not the only NSA whistleblower saying this. Because what happened in the wake of 9-11 was they began looking at Americans with dragnet surveillance. The security state, the police state, the militarized industrial complex turned itself inward on America. Remember the founders said, Madison said, if tyranny ever comes to this country, it will be in the guise of fighting a foreign enemy. And that's true. And it has come to this country. And I want my country back. There's a ballot measure that they're trying to get on the ballot in New York City. They have 53,000 signatures reported on that last week. It's the New York City Coalition for Accountability Now. Wouldn't you want to know if a building with a minor fire, a skyscraper that was more than 20 stories tall, if there was a minor fire on a building and it just happened to fall down? That's never happened anywhere else in the world, in history. And it didn't happen there. We heard the owner of that building say, pull it down. We know something was happening with that, and we know that they'd prepared it well in advance to have that happen. Now, we have uh, some NSA officials say that the U.S. has turned into a Stasi Germany or a Soviet Union. This is an article up on Infowars.com. We have a senior NSA executive, Thomas Drake, saying this. He told Washington's blog that the U.S. has adopted the East German Stasi model. He says, collect it all, know it all. That's the NSA's model, and it's actually the Stasi's model. It's not just know everything. We have to be able to keep everything that we want to know, even if we don't know it yet, or even if we don't know that we want to know it, right? He says, I keep shuddering because I'm intimately familiar with the East German surveillance state mentality. And of course, they point out in the article here that a lieutenant colonel that worked for the Stasi in East Germany said, based on his experience, he agrees. And of course, German Chancellor Angela Merkel, who grew up in East German, uh, under the Stasi in East Germany, says that the NSA is exactly the same. See, that's the problem. And we have the NAFTA model right now. Charlie Sheen was trying to get Obama to take an honest look at it. Maybe he didn't know what this guy was about. We want to give him the benefit of the doubt, perhaps. Instead of taking an honest look at that, what Obama has done is the same thing that they did with NAFTA. Enact it. Let it sit there inert for a very long time. Then act on it. That's what we see with the NDAA, with the indefinite detention. First, make the law, but don't act on it right away because that'll get people upset. It's outrageous enough that you have destroyed the borders and unified Mexico and America and Canada. Don't really act on that right away. Let that simmer in people's minds. Now the idea that the entire world is at war, that is something that they want us to simmer with and get used to it. That's why they're not doing anything. That's why they're letting that simmer. But now we know what their model is. We now know that they're going to do this exactly like they did with NAFTA. Stay with us. We're going to be right back with more news about the security state. We have people who were protesting the NSA data collection. We got some great footage of that. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Thank you for listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. Man, when I get home from work, all Betty does is watch her reality TV and then she goes to sleep. I can take her on romantic dates, I get her flowers, you name it. She's just not the woman I married. Oh, Ralph, that's just awful. Does this seem familiar? Are the honeymoon days of your relationship long gone? If so, consider this. The abundance of chemical additives, pesticides, BPA containers, contaminated tap water, and other toxic substances found in our environment. Experts know our bodies are some and being thrown off balance, especially when it comes to your natural systems. Forget synthetic chemicals. 
Super Female Vitality brings forward key herbs specifically chosen for women's biology without the use of phony additives. Get your bottle of Super Female Vitality today at InfoWarsLife.com, InfoWarsStore.com, or call 1-888-253-3139. InfoWarsLife.com. Live life healthy.